11030 Pepper Mill Lane. It's the neighborhood. Got a large driveway, actually longer than one next door. So you get some good distance for plenty of parking. That's your next door neighbor's place. Looks beat to hell and back. And then this one next door looks great. Let's just see what's on the side over here before we get going. Pretty clean. Okay. See a panel. That's probably from the plumbing work they've had done. No. Roof looks good. What I can see down here. You share entryway. You've got like a cool porta cabin. Their garage doesn't attach. That's why there's this further right there. Because you come in, you got slate top, popcorn ceilings, coat closet, large coat closet. There's in your room. Garage to your immediate right. Large two car garage with storage and attic stairs. Craftsman. Hot water tank. And of course, we go there in a corner where I can't see around. So uh, I'd be speculating on that one. Alright. Hardwood floors. Real hardwood. It's actually running sideways. Oh, I see why they did it that way. Make the rooms look larger. Alright, so you have a half bath here. Wings cutting around it. It's a little low, but it's oblong. That's nice. Kitchen. Looks into the family room dining area. I don't know about those lights, but I mean, functions. 32 inch uppers. Basic cabinets. Dishwasher. Yeah. Bit of trash down in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it very well. The sinkerator. So that's good. You have what appears to be a new used appliance. Four burner. You don't have an overhead microwave and it doesn't bend out. Tabletop microwaves what they've got for substitution. You have what would be considered a breakfast nook area. You do have some standing on the floor over here. This is over in that corner where the hot water tank is in the garage, so it may be related to that, may not. Overall though, I mean, windows not fogged in here. You have that chase running around the top. You have a vaulted ceiling in here. Mm. We've got ice trays. Mm. There's something in that. Let's see. There's no ice in there. Huh. So the ice maker is off. Just do a little test here and see if it kicks on some ice. All right. You have a deep sink. Acrylic. Additional pantry. Stairs lead up, we'll go up there in a minute. You have the train system. 2011 on the inside. Washer dryer downstairs. Wet bar. You'd think there'd be a, a light over it or something, but no. Doesn't appear to be any damage, probably doesn't get 
the flooring, you know, some people might refer to it as damaged, patina, wear and tear, age, distress, whatever. There are certain areas where, I mean, looks like a dog or a chair has been sliding around, who knows, you know. Fireplace, dining area, looking back through the kitchen. Thermostat, set at 77, it's pretty comfortable in here actually. You also have an additional storage closet. This is similar to the floor plan of the one I've got that's coming up over there in the valley. I mean, very similar. I think our patio is covered. Back deck area. Hey, not the most private. I took me up something here. Shade or a barrier. Oh, wow. Wow, I'd make friends with them. Dude, he's got a setup. Okay. Fence looks to be okay. You can see directly into your neighbor's backyard if you're standing straight up, but I would say you probably can go with a higher fence. Get a little more privacy. Man, it's storage. Good lord. Next to this is really musky in here. It might be due to just not having ventilation. I don't see any mold, and these walls sure haven't been painted in a long time. But you see it there, I mean, it's had some, it's been abused a little bit. So we'll go check out the rest of it. The decking out here, some of the pieces need to be replaced. This is rising up because of the tree roots. So, uh, yeah, I think you, it was on your property so you can cut the tree if you wanted to. <laughs> Let's go up stairs. Carpet, carpet may be newish. I'm not gonna say it's new, because maybe it is. All right, upstairs we have laminate floors in both rooms. We'll start with the master first. And I think I'm like to lay crap. All right. So that little overhanging right there. Good space. You're probably talking, man, 17, 18 feet across. And width-wise, I'm gonna say it's gotta be close to 17 feet. 16, 17. You got a little linen closet, additional just closet. That'd be yours, Glenn. <laughs> And, uh, and you got a nice walk-in closet. Good space. Let's see if I can get over in this corner here so you can get an idea. So it kind of shows you. Then you have vanity area, dressing, shower tub combination, much taller seat. So far, another big closet. Man, I don't know. You know what I would consider doing? I consider knocking that wall right out and running this all the way back, closing this in, and making that my second walk in closet because I don't know why you would need something that big. You've also got the laundry chute. So, you, if you put something you can lift up here, you can still use it and it can be functional. And you can just drop the laundry down. The guest room, again, laminate. Similar to the size of the master, but not quite as big. You have one walk in closet, not quite as large as the master's. This is probably four feet by five feet. You have an additional linen closet over here. And you have full bath and vanity. Shower tub combination. Again, skylight. Floor up here looks 
in pretty good shape. I mean, it looks like it just recently mopped down. Missing the blinds, I can't really, but the roof looks pretty good over here. They tinted these windows. It feels like a little slope right here. Like a little slight slope. And it could just be improperly installed flooring. It could be, you do have some gaps. Yeah. So the gap should only be at the most that. So maybe he was running out of pieces and tried to make it work. Alright. Does it? Voila.